We've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 here. And today I'm going to show you how to boot this device into what is known as safe mode. So for those who are unaware, safe mode is a special Android boot mode that will disable third party applications that have been installed. And this is a troubleshooting step. Just in case you've noticed that your device is either running poorly, overheating, the battery is draining too quickly. It's just one of many troubleshooting steps that you can go through to find out if it's the actual Android operating system that's causing the issue or if it's just a third party application that you have installed that is misbehaving and causing the issue. So to boot the device into safe mode we need to first bring up the power menu by just simply pressing and holding on the power button for a few seconds. Then from here we're going to tap and hold, tap and hold at the same time on the power off option and just after a, a second or two you're going to see this safe mode button pop up. From here we're just going to tap on safe mode and that's going to reboot the Samsung Galaxy S10. This will work on the Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus as you can see here and the Galaxy S10e and it's just going to take you through your normal boot animation sequence it's not going to take long at all and as soon as you boot up you're going to see this watermark right here to, to tell you and to remind you that you are currently in safe mode So I'm just going to unlock the device. Now this watermark is going to be here the whole time throughout the time that you are you are in safe mode. And the big reason why it's there is just a reminder to tell you that you are in safe mode. Now you are going to have a notification as again another reminder to tell you that you are in safe mode. And Samsung wants to do this. Samsung wants to constantly remind you that you are in safe mode because your third party apps are going to be inaccessible. So as you can see, we can go into the Play Store as that is not a third party application. However, there are a number of applications that you can see are currently grayed out. The calculator app Play Music, Samsung Notes, the Phone Info application, Push Bullet, all of these grayed out applications, Spotify as well, are going to be inaccessible. That means you cannot open them while you are in safe mode. These downloaded apps, even if they're pre-installed on your device, cannot be opened when you are in safe mode. This includes some Samsung applications, it includes some Google applications and it will include any application that you manually install from the Play Store or that you sideload from another application store source or wherever else you sideload these applications from. Now again the reason why we do this is a troubleshooting step. Let's say you notice that your phone is not as speedy as it used to be. When you first got the phone, it was blazing fast. In six months, you notice that t opening up a game or an app takes a lot longer. Maybe you notice that certain apps are force closing, or maybe you can feel that the device is overheating, um, and especially for battery drain. Unexpected battery drain is one of the most common complaints among smartphones as a whole whether it's iOS or Android and a lot of the times it has to do with these third-party apps when it comes to Android. Apple does a good job of keep, keeping things locked down but they also do a good job of not letting you install such powerful and customizable applications so it's a give or take. So no matter what you were experiencing before again whether it was overheating or 
um, poor battery life, poor performance, anything else, your first troubleshooting step is to boot the device into safe mode and try to see if you can replicate that issue. Now, I know it's going to be impossible because to 100% replicate your daily usage because it's in safe mode, it's going to, going, to, going to disable a lot of those applications. So if you're playing a graphic-intensive game, you're not going to be able to open it while it's in safe mode. You may be able to find another, another application that is as graphic-intensive, maybe, but do the best you can to try to replicate the same issue you're having before while you're in safe mode. If the issue has, is gone, let's say that you had poor performance before, but you boot up in a safe mode and then it's blazing fast again. That means one of these installed applications is hogging up CPU and or GPU resources and that's causing the slowdown. And you're going to have to find out which application that is. Samsung has some nice little, I'd say tools installed in their operating system that can help you find out what those apps are. And I'll go through those um, features later. For now, I just wanted to show you how to boot into safe mode. And now I'm going to show you how to boot out of safe mode. So if you want, you can just use the notification as plainly as it says, you can just tap here to turn off safe mode. When you tap that, all it's going to do is reboot the, reboot the device. Because that's really all you have to do to get out of safe mode, is to simply restart. I have seen some instances where people get stuck in safe mode even after a reboot. If that's the case, then I would recommend trying both the regular reboot through the power menu as well as the reboot from the notification panel. Failing that literally without root access, all you, ha all you can do is perform a factory reset. And as bad as that sounds, at least you can use Samsung Smart Switch to do a data backup. So as you can see, the safe mode watermark is gone. We have access to our applications again. They're no longer grayed out and we can open them. And that's it. That is how to boot the Samsung Galaxy S10 both into and out of safe mode.